incredible job as, as everybody has, but bringing real personal stories. I know you're at the scene where uh, parents are either walking away reunited or not reunited, and then going to another area to figure out what's going on. So uh, thank you so much. I know being a mother yourself, it's not easy. All right, Kirsten Cole reporting for us from Newtown, Connecticut. And it's not been easy, obviously, seeing the images that we've seen throughout the, the day, as well as some of the sound that's been coming in. Mm -hmm. Jay Dow, uh, at the top of the show, had Sarah Cox, a school nurse. We saw her deliver a story that she was trembling over. She was yeah. explaining how she actually saw the feet of the killer come into her office, and then he walked away. We now have she was hidden in a closet yeah. with you know, with her with the secretary, I believe. It's yeah, it's incredible. We also have sound. Uh, we've heard from some other parents. We're now going to hear from a little boy, a student at the school, to hear what he has to say. Her screaming, and so. Yeah. Like we went to the wall and we sat down and then a police came in and it's like, is he in here? Then he ran out and then our teachers, when somebody yelled, get to a safe place. So we went to the closet in the gym and we sat there for a little while. And then the police like were knocking on the door and they're like, we're evacuating people, we're evacuating people. So we ran out, there's police about at every door. They're leading us down this way, down this way, quick, quick, come on. Mm. Hearing the stories of a little boy there mm -hmm. talking about how they were inside of a closet and you hear them say we're evacuating people we're evacuating people but then you also wonder at that point how do you actually trust the people that are there not knowing what sure. is truly going on in that situation well a lot of the kids uh, you know a little earlier in the day we were talking about this a lot of the kids were told when they were running out of the school mm -hmm. cover your eyes and run because there were two different scenes really inside of the school so a lot of them uh, are going to be dealing with a lot tonight because innocence was lost that's for sure across the board uh, let's bring in Mary Murphy and Dr. Balder because you've been with us all afternoon and we thank you so much for your expertise on so many different levels. I want to talk about, uh, turn our attention right now to the, the shooter because I think we're getting some new information about the shooter now that we learned who it is. Uh, allegedly, the shooter is Adam Lanza, a 20-year-old, and apparently went in there after his mother in her kindergarten class, and that is where the shooting unfolded. According to one news source, he turned the gun on himself and killed himself. But we did hear that he had told, his older brother had told the news organization that he suffered from personality disorder. Uh, also possibly autism. We've heard he was troubled. And we heard he had characteristics of a mental illness. So a lot of words being tossed around there. Let's focus on personality yes. disorder because that was the one that kind of struck a chord with you when you heard us uh, uh, say that. Yes, because first of all, we need a, a much clearer diagnosis before we can really make some statements about this. Sure. But if there's some veracity to the fact that it was a personality disorder, there are many kinds of personality okay. disorders, and some of them are people who are paranoid, suspicious, mm -hmm. don't trust others, sure. are prone to violence, which is very different from what we talked about before when we said Asperger's and autism, Absolutely. which is a totally different kind of thing. So if this young man really suffered from personality disorder and when he was a and the mother did the mother confirm that that he had a per that she had troubles we heard well, we say, heard wasn't that he was it? troubled the neighbor said he was but, troubled right right if he had been troubled then perhaps there was an early diagnosis and he was in treatment mm -hmm. and a lot of a lot of information is going to come out of that when he was a child was he in treatment was a diagnosis made was he on medication sure was he in therapy my concern i gotta tell you this and we've heard this term being uh, tossed around quite a bit and we've heard it from a lot of different sources but the family being gun enthusiasts. Right. And I think that that, you know, when we're hearing the word personality disorder, yes. not confirmed yet, of course, but we've heard troubled. Then we're hearing gun enthusiasts and... Uh,